So the other day, Lane and I went to Five Below just to look for something, and I couldn't help but not look at the tech section. I'm kind of a sucker for cheap tech, and they had a bunch of stuff here. That is epic. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Let's just grab a couple things. We'll test them out, see how bad, I mean, good they are. LED soap dispenser. <laughs> Yo. Get it, get it, get it. And yeah, we ended up getting like $55 worth of stuff, and we're here today to test it out. All right, Lane. So what I'm thinking is that we put each item on like one of those little spinny wheels and then we spin the wheel to decide which item we're gonna review first. That's fine. That's fine? Yeah, All right, let me sure. get one of those okay. up. Alrighty, Lane, so you set up the wheel, right? Yes, sir. Sweet! It's got everything on there. Are we ready to roll? We're ready. RGB mouse pad. All right, so you actually got this for yourself, didn't you? Yeah, we'll see how good it is though. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so just in case you didn't see enough, here's the bad boy. What brand is this even? I really don't think it has a brand. Oh, it, it does. It's called Vivitar in very small oh. form. You can't see it, but it's on there. I believe that Vivitar is the same company that did the camera I reviewed. No. -uh. Yeah, they like they're also all over the dollar spot of Target. There's some uh, doo doo tech to say the least. It looks pretty cool in the pictures. I mean, it looks decently bright. So I guess we'll just have to try it out. Are you yeah. It? It's decent size actually. It doesn't seem very soft. Yeah. But... You feel? Ooh. Right, you wanna go to my room and set it up? Yeah. You actually gonna use it? We'll try it out in there. Okay. Alrighty, so this is the current setup. This is the current setup. Nice, nice. I am seeing an issue here, Mr. Bradshaw. What's that? It don't light up. The mouse pad? Yeah. That's why we have this one. <laughs> yeah, so just for comparison size, this is like a $5 one off of Amazon. So it's like a decent bit bigger. <coughs> oh, so it, it works. It's sort of. Sort of works. This entire part right here is not lit up at all. <laughs> It's, does it just have lights right there? Yeah, it does. So it just has lights on this inside of here. So none of this is lit up at all. Alrighty, so how are you feeling about it? I'm disappointed. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable <laughs> and my day is ruined. <laughs> so if this is anything how the rest of it's gonna go, I honestly don't have very high hopes because <laughs> this is trash. <laughs> this is horrible. So I know I mentioned it earlier, but it just has lights I'm assuming inside of here, and then it's just got this little transparent thing, plasticky thing. Yeah. So like this entire, basically half of it is not lit up. Like this part looks kind of cool. I don't know if there's different like colors. Maybe there is. Oh, there is. Is there a button that makes the whole thing light up? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Where's the box at? Let's grab the box so we can compare. So if we compare it here to the box, this part is clearly lit up. It's not IRL. <laughs> the whole thing looks Scam. to be up on here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this like a, I'm gonna give it a zero out of 10. So zero out of 10? <laughs> it's complete garbage. Yeah, I don't know why anybody would love this. Do you wanna turn the lights off so we can just really see how bright it is? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, still not very bright. Thumbs down. <laughs> Next product? Yes, sir. Let's go. Alrighty, bring that wheel up, man. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Guess we'll get this going. If I remember correctly, this does this one take batteries? Three AAA batteries for this one little thing. We don't have AAA batteries. Well, we'll have to take, we can take them out of some remotes. That's what I was thinking, bro. Poor kid thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check it out here. LED toilet night light. It is motion censored. It's got oh. eight different colors. Two color modes, and it's most importantly water resistant because you'll pee pee splash and sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> so if we just kind of take a look, it looks like it just kind of makes your toilet glow. Maybe like throw a coin in there and it like gives you some wishes or something. <laughs> and then up, it does have some bubble wrap. So this is what it looks like. All right, so clutch enough. Our remotes had batteries in them, yeah. just the kind we needed. So wait, okay, so this is, the, that's the entire light This is right the light, there. yeah. Jeez, that is tiny. Oh, oh whoa. <laughs> kind of bright, okay. Oh, that might be to change the color or something. What is there a button? Yeah, there's a, so there's a little button right here. I don't know what it does there. Okay, let's go try Very it. Very epic. All right, so we're just putting it on. Yes, sir. I guess it's right here. So if you walked in here, if you're legitimately using this, you want to turn light on? Yeah. Oh, your toilet is straight from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Looks even worse on camera. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, my toilet glows. Are you impressed? 
It looks cool, I guess. I mean, just think. Would that be clutch at night? I just turn the light on, to be honest. <laughs> is this a necessary product? Not at all. Wait, will oh, you yes. sit on it? Will you do a sit test? So do you have good visibility now? Like, imagine it's the I have great night. visibility. I can see all the way down to the little tube thing. <laughs> Already Lane, so how are we rating this product? Two out of 10. Two out of 10? Yeah. Honestly, I'd give it like three or four. Like and a three it, and a half. The light is pretty bright, but it's just like... But it's like, okay, if you wanted this, it does what it achieves. But why though? Why would anybody want this? <laughs> why? I don't know. Why? Somebody wants them. There's a reason they've been made, right? I guess. Honestly, okay. In general, it's like a four. But like, if you want this, I mean, it works. It was like five bucks, so. It's better than the other products we've seen now. That's true. Like, it's it the works. best thing so far. Yeah. Surprisingly. That's saying a lot. Yeah. If we compare it to what the picture looks like, it's fairly accurate. It really uh, is. Which is the first time we've seen that today. <laughs> so, that's good, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, it's time to spin that wheel! <laughs> yes, sir. What's next? Gaming keyboard! Or in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you put it in quotes? We know why. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so this is the keyboard. Uh, it's their brand, Booga. I don't know how you say that. Apparently he's a professional gamer. Uh, they have like signs and stuff of him. And this, was this five or 10 bucks? I think 10. Worth it? Probably not in either case. So this is the back of the box. Uh, Anti-ghosting, function hotkeys, ergonomic design, function indicator, numpad, and that's a cool feature. Anti-ghosting again, RGB LED light, WAST gaming keys, just like every other keyboard. So they're basically just putting a bunch of BS on the back to try to sell it to you. Got a nice little cover here, and it actually opens upside down. So open it up, we've got the cover here. What is this, dude? We don't need any of that. So obviously at this price, it is definitely gonna be a membrane keyboard. So if you wanna sound test, sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, it does have feet that you can kick up on the back. And on the back, we see Booga Dash keyboard. <laughs> the design is ugly, dude. Oh, and it feels so cheap. Do you wanna try out the RGB-ness? Of course. Back to the gamer room. Oh man. Oh. oh God. It's pretty dim. It's not really bright at all. I guess you do have multimedia buttons on here, so if you hold down um, your function key, you can change your volume and stuff. This is for your brightness. Okay, it just has an on off <laughs> Cool. Feel, it feels like shit, frankly. <laughs> I could play a game or two if you want. Just do some typing. But if you hear the sound, you can hear the difference between mechanical and membrane. So mechanical has like actual little switches in there. Whereas this is just a little piece of rubber. Yeah, so. How'd you rate this? Like a one out of 10. <laughs> it is better than the mouse pad? No, actually zero. Change the mouse pad rating to one, this to a zero, this feels trash. Really? You think yeah. this is worse? At least it functions though. I guess, that's true. Okay, we'll put it back to one, mouse pad goes back to a zero. <laughs> All right, next product? Yes, sir. Cool. All right, are we ready to spin? Yes, sir. Spin that wheel. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel. Oh, oh my <laughs> So this is another Buga product. Kyle Buga, I don't know how to say his last name, is actually PC player of the year. Holy shit. I don't know shit. what the context is, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, let's check it out. Uh, so this is what it looks like here. Got a USB cable, of course. The quality seems okay. It has a very strange look, like it's out of Star Trek or something, but... Yeah. Uh, and this card was in the keyboard, right? Yeah. Every champion was once just a contender. Don't give up. Booga. Inspiring <laughs> words from Kyle Booga. <laughs> Back to the gaming room. So it's changing oh, colors here. As you'd expect, it is RGB. <laughs> uh, so I'll record a clip with this microphone, which was like $30 off of Amazon, and I'll record the same clip with this one, and we'll compare them. Sweet. Hello, hello, this is a test. Hello, hello, this is a test. Do not. You wanna listen to it real quick? Yeah. Hello, hello, this is a test. Hello, hello, this is a test. <laughs> Why is it buzzing? <laughs> so bad, what the fuck?
So first impressions? Uh, that's bad. That's really bad. There's like a <laughs> weird like noise to it, and it's extremely quiet. Yeah, it's like <laughs> like I don't know what the problem is. Like almost like it wasn't plugged in all the way, but it was. I think it's like a one out of ten for me. <laughs> that is bad. I feel like I've seen videos about like mics that are like five dollars from Amazon too that like aren't bad. Yeah, there's definitely some from like Walmart or Best Buy that you can grab for like fifteen or twenty bucks that are going to be miles better than this. I mean, like I said, even the one one I have is still very budgety. It's thirty dollars. I don't have any complaints about it or anything. Nobody complains about it when they're mm -hmm. listening to me. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool though. Yeah, I guess it looks okay. It just kind of flickers through this like it's yeah. some kind of uh, carnival ride. But uh... <laughs> alrighty, guys. So it looks like we are almost done here. We've got four more products left. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spin that wheel. Light bar. <laughs> One of the first things that we picked up, and that was yeah. like all you were gonna get, just kind of see how it was. But they were like, we'll just get like 20 different things <laughs> and just see how bad they are. So, yeah, so this actually stood out to me because uh, Philips Hughes sells things like this, and they're much more expensive, probably a lot higher quality though. My hopes are very low now, seeing everything else. Yeah, this one might pull through for us. I mean, based on the pictures here, it looks pretty good, but based off the pictures of the other ones, they look decent too, and <laughs> they really weren't, so. Uh, on here, it's RGB, USB powered. It's got 15 colors, and it's got four different modes, so we'll try them out. Sweet. So the brand is called X-Vibe E-Sensual. It's got a lot of wrapping on it. So yeah, I guess the, uh, based off looking at it, the shape, it, oh, it feels so cheap. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's extremely light. Like it's probably weighs like less than a pound. It's shaped just like the Philips Hughes. I mean, this looks like it. Oh, it just comes off. So I guess if you want to stick it to the wall or something, you could. Is it everything? Yeah. I guess let's plug it in. Yeah, just put it in there. Oh man. Okay. You know what? Oh, I guess we can try out the remote too. So we've got off, on, red, green, and blue. You got your fade mode. I mean, it's like decently bright. Yeah, but we have the lights on. Let me see this. Cable's pretty short. Can you bend down a little bit? I mean, it's not doing much to your face. Oh man, it's like dark, dark in here. When the room is totally dark, it's got a decent amount of brightness to it. Yeah. On camera, it actually looks pretty decent. Really? See, I'm seeing that my ISO is super high though, which means it's not bright at all. It's the white. Yeah, it's definitely a fake white. Yeah. It's it not like, dark. it's really like not that bad. Just the cable is so short on it. But I mean, if you were to put this like behind your TV or something, like it might look okay. If it was like completely dark in here. In person, it's, when you're looking at it, it's pretty bright, but I mean, eh, I don't know. I think this is probably the best one that we've checked out so far. Honestly. Yeah, and the lights are on, it's definitely uh, pretty dull. It feels super cheap. It does what it says though, I will say. Yeah, this is definitely the, probably the best one that we've checked out so yeah. far. I'd probably give it like a six. Honestly, I give it like right? a four because it yeah. just feels so cheap you're right. and it's not that bright. See, I'm comparing it to like everything else. Oh, in terms of everything else, this is probably like a nine. <laughs> the other stuff we've checked out has just not been very good at all. Alrighty, time for next product. We've got three left, I believe. We've got the soap dispenser, the car lights, and this thing. The neck, neck thing. mount, yeah. Spin that wheel. LED soap, soap dispenser. dispenser. Let's go, nice. LED life. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty, so you can actually see this product through it. It just looks like a pretty generic soap dispenser. It's got seven colors, 10 foot motion sensor. Oh, that's kind of cool. Water resistant, 30 second auto shut off. See, now this would really complete your bathroom with the toilet lights. It would. I'm actually so excited. Right, pretty. I mean, it's plastic, but it actually doesn't feel that bad. Really? I can feel it. Feel. Yeah, it feels decent quality, I yeah. guess. It feels just as good, if not like a little better than like most soap dispensers you get that come with soap. There's no instructions. Very epic. So yeah, you can twist off the bottom. And then it's just a soap dispenser. Oh, so the light is right there. That is tiny. So I'm assuming you twist. Uh -huh. Battery time. Oh, it's already lighting up. That's very bright. <laughs> Nice. I'm assuming the button works the same as like last time. Yeah. Yeah, it just changes the it's color. It's actually kind of kind of bright when you're looking straight at it. I'm sure when there's like liquid in here, it'll make it brighter as well. Alrighty. Let's go test it out. I don't think there's a way to make it turn off, honestly. So for all purposes, that is soap. Nor the tools in our bathroom. 
Oh? It just like went on for a second. What is there is a motion thing at? Oh. It's on right now. It looks kind of cool, honestly. Oh god. Surprise, this is the best thing we got. <laughs> they changed the colors though. Just press the button. The blue, green, red. It's like coming here at night, but. It's honestly not bad. You could be in here at night, you know, with no light, have this in your toilet thing. This apparently goes off in 30 seconds though, so that's no fun. But honestly, it's not that bad. How are we rating this product? Uh, seven. It's pretty cool. Seven? Yeah, I'd give it a seven too. It looks pretty bright in here as well. Do we think this is the best thing we've seen so far? I think so. I think so, because the quality, I mean, it's trash, but it like everything else that, like this is like even worse, you know? Right, well that's meant to be thrown away, this isn't. That's, that's fair. It does, like, the motion sensor is kind of bad though, I will say. That's have to think though, like, with how many devices we already have to, like, recharge, like, yeah. imagine having to change batteries in your soap dispenser. <laughs> like, bruh. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Like a seven. Next product! Alrighty, spin this wheel. Neck mount thing. Alrighty, so this thing I actually picked out, uh, just because it honestly seemed kind of cool, because you can get like POV shots, I guess is the idea. You put your phone on there and then, you know, open up the camera app. So it's very basic, but I think it might be kind of cool. Prime Connect is the brand. How do you feel about this one? I think it's going to be cool. We'll try it out. It seems kind of uncomfortable though. It's not really that much of a tech product, to be honest. I mean, it is and it isn't, but unbox time. A simple bit of packaging here. Simple comes with instructions. Very important. <laughs> I don't know how it attaches to. I guess it just hold. yanks onto your fan or something. So I guess fucking wear it like this or something. I guess I'll do a little test video. Jesus. Okay, well it definitely holds shit in place. So I think you need to kind of adjust the angle you want before you put it on, and then put it on. I guess. Looks like it's staying pretty decently. Do a test video. So, I mean, if you were doing videos, like, with your hands down, you know what I mean? Like this yeah. or something, like, it's actually kind of a cool point of view. POV, you're Nolan. <laughs> Is that a good, like, vision? Like, angle? That's, like, I was thinking you, like, turn it down like this, and I guess you would have to, like... Yeah, you could do that if you wanted to. Whoa, videoception. Oh, that's kind of cool, bruh. What's up, guys? <laughs> That honestly is kind of a cool point of view. If you were doing like a, this is like 12 year old me thinking, like doing like first person like Call of Duty videos, <laughs> be like, Bravo 6. I honestly think this might be the best product we've reviewed so far. It's definitely the most useful. Yeah. That's for sure. It's the least techy though. And I think that's why it gets away with it. Cause it's like, it's a very simple product. It's just some plastic and a little phone holder. Yeah. But, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. Works as advertised. Yep. Function is cool. Cool point of view. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving this product like a nine. Yeah, I think I in comparison too. to everything. Yeah. Definitely a nine. Alrighty guys, one more product left. <laughs> the most annoying one to install. <laughs> so we don't even need the wheel for this because all we have left is the car lights. Now I saw this because I've been considering getting car lights and I mean, this was five bucks. So, you know, uh, it's by a brand called, oh, it's the Vibe brand again. Oh, now what did they, they do? Made. Oh, they made this light. Okay. They made the light bar, which was actually half decent. So and they made the toilet light too, which was kind of decent. And yeah. they made the soap dispenser. This shit's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the goaded brand. Features, easy to use and install, super bright LED. That's probably cap. Plugs in the car charger. <laughs> what? That's probably cap. <laughs> My question is if they're just red. I think they might be. They might be, yeah. Cause usually they tell you, yeah. Alrighty, unboxing time. That's it. Oh, they're small. Damn, they're tiny, dude. Yeah, they are. Alrighty, so are these both connected to the... Yeah, so they're both connected to one USB. Uh, these lights are freaking tiny, dude. They claim to be ultra bright, though, so maybe it'll work. It's just got some... Uh, it's not even 3M, it's 1M. Should we plug them in first and see how bright they are? Yeah, we can. Not very bright. <laughs> they may be brighter in your car. I guess we we'll go try it out. Them. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm assuming we just want one under each. Let me try and stick this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, mine's stuck. Yeah, mine too. Uh, you got kind of got the cable. Yeah, you kind of got a crap ton of cable. See, I don't know what you would do with all this. I just kind of hide it down here. Alrighty, now we test it. Oh. oh. It looks better on your side. Does it? 
Yeah, it's not ultra bright like it claimed. It just kind of illuminates your feet. What do you think? Eh, it is, your side is definitely not bright at all. Yeah. And my side is kind of bright. How do you have it aiming? Is it like aiming down? Yeah. Hmm. It's okay. I mean, I guess if you had brighter lights, it'd probably look better. If they were RGB, they might, they might be kind of cool. And you have like the annoying little cable you have to worry about. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's okay. It's not ultra bright, like it said, but it's kind of cool. I mean, if the, if you want this look, then yeah, but I've heard there's really good lights at Walmart you can get for like 10 bucks. For your car? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I might try some of those. I really want to, but... Because this vibe is cool. It is kind of cool having the lights down there. I like it. What do you think? I'm thinking like a six. What do you think? Yeah, I give it a six. If they're a little brighter in RGB, they might be cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Well... We gotta go back inside. Alrighty guys, so we've got everything in front of us here. Alrighty, so real quick, how would you rank these products from best to worst? Uh, worst for me was definitely the mic. That thing was barely usable at all. It really wasn't usable. <laughs> I would not recommend that one again. Other than that, the lights, the car lights were okay. The uh, bar, the light bar was okay. The toilet light, like Nolan was saying, is it was kind of cool. The mouse pad was disappointing. Um, I thought it was going to be better, but I, I mean, I shouldn't have got my hopes up. That definitely set the precedent for everything else. Yeah. After I saw that, I was like, okay, no, this stuff is going to be good. <laughs> but like Nolan was saying, the neck mount, it was pretty cool. So that was probably the best thing here. Mm -hmm. um, definitely the most functional thing. The I kind of like the soap dispenser. It like actually was surprised. <laughs> yeah. It looked pretty cool, surprisingly. Um, other than that, most of it was just, just all right. Just kind of what you'd expect. Yeah. And I will say, if, like, the sub dispenser and the, the toilet light, if it's something you want, they work. Like, I think it's fine for, like, the $5 if you want that. I think, honestly, this, we're probably dogging on a little too much, the light bar. Because it was pretty solid. And for 5 bucks, like, if that's something you want, again, like, it worked pretty good. And it is more of a tech product than the little neck mount. But the neck mount was just cool. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe. I'm thinking about doing more videos like this because this is honestly pretty enjoyable. I think I might do Target next. They have like a dollar spot and they always have some weird tech in there. Uh, so let me know if there's some places or some products we should check out. But yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you, Lane, for joining me. You're welcome. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.